Welcome back, everybody. We're on the free to play account day seven. All right, as you see, we get this nice ancient shard here. And I actually, all right, let's just grab all the free stuff. I believe it is the appreciation pack. We'll grab this. And we already, okay, we don't want this. Okay, we don't want any of this. Okay. <laughs> So we got Rathalos today, day seven. We got Rathalos, the Blade Master. Super sick. He will be super good for our team. We already have a defense decrease on our Leo. So that's not something we're necessarily, but just this ignoring 25% of target defense and then 100% if it's a boss. He's going to be super good for clan boss, getting increased crit rate, increased speed. What does his aura do? Inflicts 50% more damage against targets under HP burn. Receives 25% less damage for HP burn. So we have one champion that does HP burn on a 50% chance on all of his abilities. If they're under an increase attack. So now I need to get a, a champion that increases attack for all enemies. And then I would have a nice Aethel, Leo, Rathalos. We have Gaelic, but we also have Apothecary. I'm going to have to <clears throat> figure something out because we have a bunch of champions and I'm not really sure who or what to build. As you see here, we have three five-star champions now for food. This one will be the fourth champion, which we already have two four-stars for. This will be a third one. I've been grinding 9-3, so I have actually, as you see, I've gotten some food. And we've just been kind of building up this War Maiden, who probably will just be good for faction keep okay so let's go through but before we go we don't ask for subscribes subscribes subscribers or comments or likes around here we play you in rock paper scissors form so i'm going to play you if you lose you subscribe ready rock paper scissors shoot all right we threw rock if you threw scissors subscribe let me know down below what you're through and if you beat me or not and then also just let me know how your free-to-play journey is going let's collect all these goodies and as you see, we used a lot of our stamina pots just because I love playing this game and I don't like being patient. So today we are going to pull these 10 ancient shards. I was going to wait. I was going to wait, but I can't. I can't. I don't know how people save their shards for months at a time. I believe in one week there is a times two for ancient shards in one week on February 2nd. But I can't wait another week. So let's see what this Mighty Yuko does. Decrease attack. Block debuffs, which we don't have. That would be nice. Uh, block damage. Increase speed. Okay. And a bunch of stuff. So right now I'm just kind of looking at these champions and seeing which ones would be best. I don't know. Got a nice little leech here. Okay. I don't know which one of these are the best. Oh, this character looks sick. Like an alien type thing. All right, let's see. Continuous heals is good. Block debuff speed. Increase attack. Revives a target ally. So we have a reviver as well. We do not have a reviver. But the increased attack is only on the revive. I don't know which one of these is worth it. We need someone that gives increased attack to all. And I'm sure I can find one in the campaign. I don't know which one of these are the best. I'm going to look at Uko, Mighty Uko again. I thought he was a reviver. But no. Remove two random buffs. 75% chance. That's actually really good. Uh, is he not a reviver? Oh, revives all dead allies with 40% HP. So we're definitely going to go for Mighty Uko for sure. And I'll just pick one of these. It is what it is. So we're confirmed that. We're going to pull these later in the video. I'm just going to go through a little bit what I've been doing. So as you know, we've been grinding up the five stars. That's one of the things we've been doing. Another thing we've been doing is kind of grinding through these missions. And I believe there are... I want to get to this mission, get four rank five champions before I six star my next champ or my first champion. That way I don't have to get, because right now it says I have four of them. If I use four of them and another one, five of them, to rank up my champion to six star, then I lose all four of these. So I want to get done with this mission first, and it's number 52, or not 52, but it's in this one towards the end. So make sure that's something you guys are paying attention to. I always like to look ahead. 
And outside of that, most of these ascend a champion right here. Look at this. Four champions to level 50. So this is something I'm going to have to... I have two right now. One being the six star. So this is something I'm going to have to work on. And outside of that... I mean, that's pretty much it besides Feud Justicar. So I'm not too worried about this. But I do want to keep working on this. Right now I'm doing the Spirit Keep. And I believe I only have... How much time left on my dungeons before they disappear forever? I have one day left. So I'm definitely going to focus on these dungeon missions. Because I believe they're only open once a week. Or two days a week. And I'm just going to throw all my gems into them. Just because I do not have the patience. Let's see. Another thing, if you guys want to join our clan. We have nine members as of today. We have a new member that just joined. Who started El Hain and uh miscreated monster so that's exciting look at all these beautiful people it's wonderful and that's pretty much it we're gonna hopefully we get enough players that we can do uh the clan clan v clan and maybe we win maybe we don't but it's just a lot of good free rewards if we can do that and let's see what else we got so we have these tournaments and <laughs> let me show you there's one of these tournaments i will never win dragon turn attack look at this this guy is at, what, 6,000 last time I checked? 6,000. I'm at 900, and I've put so much time into this. But all I care about is I want to get this Ancient Shard up here, and I want to win to get this Ancient Shard. Like, if I can move up one rank, but I am I going to get to 2,000? Probably not, because I want to focus on other things. But if I can just stay in the top five to get the Ancient Shard, I'll be happy. And outside of that, we have the Tag Team Tournament, which I'm actually in... Third place for. I'm tied. So I can actually get up one. But I, all I care about is getting this chicken. And that's it. So let's go see if we can actually do something for this tournament. Maybe we can sneak a win. And for Tag Team Arena, all I do is I hit refresh. And I look for super easy teams. This is not a super easy team. These seem like they're easy, but look at their Six star, six star, six star. Like, no. We can't, so we can't beat any of these guys. So we just, in 15 minutes, we do it again. And that's pretty much all I've been doing. I do need to get these four star things. That's not too hard. I need to do this on auto for all of these. I don't, block debuffs I don't have. And I don't believe I have a remove or steel shield, steel shield buffs. But if I can get these done, then that'd be nice. But outside of that, that's pretty much it. I did upgrade my hull a little bit. It's a little all over the place. I got everyone's attack, and then I did a little accuracy here, and then I was like, I should probably do it for the magic, because I'm going to have more magic than I am going to have, like, voids or anything else. So this is why I started with, for the most part, um, I believe it shows you your record. I am 96 and 5. Now, you could be thinking, like, wow, you're 96 and 5. You must be really good. No. All I do is hit refresh, and I look for really easy people to fight, and that's it. It's that easy. So this is 31,000. I click on it. I'm 42,000. That's like a 11,000. We hit auto, and Leo is pretty much goaded. So he puts a true fear on everyone, and then boom. And then that's it. GG's. We win. Um, and that's pretty much it. I just let it auto. Sometimes I don't if I want to do it a little more. Like this. Okay. I was like, take a turn already. So boom. There it is. That's that's my secret sauce to, to getting wins in arena. Fight people weaker than you. I know. Who would have thought of it? For clan boss, we are... Look at everyone. We're one keen clan boss on easy. And then we're 900k. So we can get here. If we did it again, we'd probably be somewhere in here. So we could probably two key if we're lucky, night chest, but maybe three key. I'm not sure. We do have a key, so let's just run it and see what happens. I need to put, actually, before I do that, I need to put better gear on my champions before I do anything. So let's look at the gear I have. I feel like everyone's pretty good gear wise, but let's actually gear up Rathalos. So Rathalos needs attack. I believe I can give him. So I have a lot of good stuff. I just got a lot of good speed stuff that I need to roll up. So let's roll up some gear while we wait. If we get some crit rate or attack here, that could be good. So let's just go 
Let's start with four. And I know I could go eight or, or 12, but I like to go four at a time or sometimes eight, depending what it is, just to really feel the slow roll of this. So we got crit rate, which is good. That means I'll roll it up again. I probably would have rolled it up no matter what, but crit rate is really good. And let's see if we can get another crit rate or attack. One of these two would be really good. And then Rothalos, we would throw him into our clan boss team once he's uh, maxed out. And hopefully we get double crit rate. Boom, double crit rate, huge. That's a really good piece right here. If we get triple crit rate, that would be even better. Um, I think the only thing I don't want is this accuracy. I don't think Rathalos needs accuracy, but I am pretty new, so I'm just kind of winging it before asking my clan mates, did I make a, a, a right call or not? Hopefully we get crit rate again, and maybe attack. Crit rate would be huge though, just over 20% crit rate just on the weapon. So that means we don't need crit gloves. So that could be really, really good. So if I can give Rathalos a lifesteal set with speed, that'd be good. All right, triple crit rate. Ooh, okay, but we'll take that. That's actually really good. We're just gonna equip that right away. Let's see what else we have. This is defense and attack percent. I don't know if I like that. We do have this. Now, if we got crit damage or speed, that would be really good. So let's roll this one up. This one's also speed and crit damage. Let's roll this shield up though. I'm gonna do this four at a time because if we get the flat HP, like that really sucks, but it's like, we don't really have gear that's super good. So I think this would still be used most likely. Oh, I shouldn't have said it. Oh, no, not the flat HP. We'll roll it up one more time. If it's double flat HP, then I don't, I don't think I'll use it. Maybe use it on someone else. That's unfortunate. This could have been such a good piece if it just went crit damage and speed. I mean, still have a chance, right? All right, so I'm just going to stop rolling that one up. Let's see what else we have here for speed. And I got all of this from okay let's see hp bad resistance defense hp okay well that sucks we'll probably equip this shield either way now that i'm looking at it for now we'll just equip it for now do i have anything better this has attack percent and defense percent. Do I, should I rather do this one? Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. I'm gonna remove this. Fit so much money. Okay. And I don't think there's anything else in that set. I oh, what am I doing? First things first. I should have went straight to perception. What am I doing? Look at all this perception gear I have. Crit rate double speed. Double attack speed. So one of these two for sure. Let's look at the helmets. Another speed. Crit rate, crit damage, we might do this one. So that would be two. And then we have a little bit of speed there. We could roll this one up and see what it is. HP resistance. Double crit rate, double crit damage. So this is for sure going on. And then we would do, I think this one. What did this roll? So this has 16% crit rate. That's actually pretty nice. But I believe we have some crit rate gloves here with crit damage. So should I give them life still though? So this is where I, I'm a little confused sometimes. And I'm going to, before I keep going and spend a bunch of money, I'm going to ask my clan members what's best. Because I do have this piece, which has crit rate and speed. Haven't rolled it up to 12, so I can get something good. Three HPs on this one, imagine. But I have another one here that I can roll up to maybe get some crit damage and speed here. This one has double speed with crit rate and damage. We have crit damage here with crit rate on the sub and speed. So we have like good gear, but let's go summon. Let's go summon. All right, here we go. Now remember, we have a tradition here. We believe in the heart of the cards and the power of friendship. And because of that fact alone, we can pull something good. Come on. Oh God. At least one epic. One epic, one legendary, please. Oof. All right. Well, that was really bad. We did pull a Kale. I don't know if any of these guys are good. All right. Let's look at them. 
Grumbler has a shield heal reduction. Increased defense, ally protect. We have a preserver already, conqueror. You can get from the campaign three times. This could be good for clan boss. Increase attack oh, on this champion. Dang, imagine if that said all champions. That could have been good. Okay, nothing crazy. We have a Kale. Good for attacks all enemies. Do to do. Okay, all of these don't look that great. Muck Stalker, block debuffs, continuous heal. It's all looking kind of not great. This is why you save your shards for a times two event. Don't make the mistake I did. Defense decrease. Nothing crazy here. Stout Axeman. Now, I could be wrong on these, and I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments if I pulled something good that I thought was bad. Let me know. But for the most part, these don't, none of these really look that good. And maybe they're all food, but at the same time, we needed food anyway. It just kind of hurts. It just kind of hurts a little bit, that's all. Okay, and that's pretty much all we have for now. I'll give you an update. I should be able to six-star my next champions soon, especially with all this extra food we got. But as always, guys, until next time, senpai.